parts guy, Baron, and once again, we've got a great opportunity. I ran into Corey Ness here. Corey, you know, you've, you, we've known each other for a few years, and you guys uh, continually set the mark. I, I was floored as I walked by this bike, by this new tank facade. So talk to me about that, and then tell me about some of these other great new products, please. Okay. Well, this is a uh, for a 2009 newer uh, bagger, so that could be a street glide or road glide, not a road king. But I came up with an idea riding the Sturgis. You know, you get a lot of time behind the seat, start thinking about things and made a dash with a tank extension built into it. So this is just a stock tank with our with our new facade basically, it blends in and uh, requires no, it's just a bolt-on piece. There's no, you, you know, you don't have to file or cut or nothing. You don't have to repaint your stock tank as long as the graphics are okay on your stock bike. So you just get your dash. The only thing you might need to do is, is you would need to either get a new seat or up modify modify yours. And eventually we'll have a seat that's ready to ready to roll. Yeah, but modifying a seat up here is no problem. I mean, this is a 20, 30 minute job at the most, but here's a couple things I like. This, as you said, it bolts on. I would never pick that tank out for a stock tank, right. ever. Right. It's awesome. Uh, I love the rubber detail right here as far as a way to finish off that edge. Um, the fit is exceptional. You're covering up some of the stuff that was bulky before and not right. real pretty on the bike. You've given somebody an opportunity to really step their bike into the custom world. And, and, and my kudos, that is an awesome job. Yeah, without painting your tank. I mean, you know how much money you can spend on, on repainting your tank alone, uh, so. It's crazy. And, and I uh, hampered to move the handlebars. I grabbed the whole of these grips and I felt yeah. some give. So talk to me about these new grips. Well, these are our new deep cut comfort grips. Last year we came out with a deep cut grip. Uh, comfort wise, they, they were not comfortable whatsoever, but they looked as cool as can be. So we put some more thought into it use some new te rubber technology and they're really spongy really comfortable it's definitely the most comfortable kit we, uh, grip we have and there's and they're they're still they're forged built aluminum and the retail price point is only 89 bucks and they're Each? available for a pair for a pair oh well jeez so it's a steel and uh, they're available as you know as chrome as well and then we have matching of course foot pegs uh, shifter peg and then we have our and we have our complete deep cut line as well which yeah. is as you can see the floorboards here which are, there's probably, if you look at floorboards in the market, I don't think you're going to find any with this much detail and machining. You know, they're hollow, they're like two clamshells that come together, and uh, they got a nice look and they're comfortable. So passenger, rider, it's all there. Uh, of course, some matching uh, pegs. Pegs, um, brake arms, sh yeah. shifters. I like that, and, and then, you know, not stopping there, I, I, I'm really, really liking what you guys have done, and I know you've tested this product for about four years now, but the bags. Talk to me about the bags. We already talked about them earlier, but talk to yeah. me about them again. Well, there's, there's a lot of storage. They're about six inches longer than a factory bag. And what it does, it just it just changes the look of your motorcycle. It looks like you're, you know, you, with adding six inches to the rear, if you do a little something in the front, you can easily have a stock bike handle perfectly and be about a foot longer. It looks more like a rocket ship when you're done. You know? And it, uh, the, uh, the, with the bags, you get your exhaust extensions with it and heat shields. Oh. So you can still use whatever whatever your favorite muffler is, if it's stock or if it's a Reinhardt or Vance & Hines or whatever you want. Really? So, so, so you just created a bridge to push the, 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 the traditional slide, the slide everything back. That was one thing we were concerned about. So, because we didn't want to, since people like, people have their preference for the mufflers that they like, we didn't want to have to make them buy our six inch longer muffler. We wanted to leave it open. Uh, so we, that's how we designed it, and uh, people are loving this thing. And, and if, if you put this bike up next to a bike that has, you know, our other stretch bags or someone else's on the market or factory one, it, it makes your stock bike look like it's been hit with the back of a truck. It's like it's been pushed in because it just gracefully brings out the, the rear of the bike. Yeah, there's beautiful flow, incredible symmetry on the whole bike as far as the back end. It really, it's an exceptional look. I like that you've really closed it up back here. It, I mean, it's, it is, it's, it's beautiful. Again, you guys are leading the way. Um, this is, I don't know, for me, I, I got to think that between the grips and this tank facade and these bags, you guys have a home run year coming for you. Thanks. Yeah, we're, no, we're, we're real excited about what the new year, we got our we got our new catalog. We have a ton of new lighting accessories, all good stuff. You know, we got some power, these new power LEDs. One LED is equivalent to 20. So it just, it's just, we're trying to keep bringing things to the next level. And and that and, and it doesn't stop there because this is the latest in riding apparel too. I, you know, Corey is set to just ride to any GQ event. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, again, I appreciate your time. This is the 2011 V-Twin Expo. We have more exciting products coming to you very, very soon.